Is world peace possible? And what can we do as individuals to create or contribute to a more peaceful world? So first of all, we need to understand why the world is not peaceful, or rather, why is there so much conflict in the world? What is the cause of all this conflict? If you look at any of the conflict in the world, there is always someone behind it. Often there are many people behind it, either directly creating it or just contributing to it indirectly. But there is always someone. And what is it about a person which causes them to create this conflict? If you really look closely at anyone who is creating conflict in the world, and this can even be in regard to oneself, what you find is that inwardly there is some disturbance. The person is deeply unhappy or angry, fearful or insecure. Whatever it happens to be, inwardly there is some kind of internal conflict. So all of this external conflict is rooted in some kind of internal conflict. It is the manifestation of that internal conflict individually as well as collectively. And so to have peace in the world, in all the world, so that there is no conflict in any place at any time is not something that can be imposed and enforced from outside. For thousands of years, we have been trying to impose order on the world, but to no avail. It just hasn't worked. You have some of the most enlightened beings on this planet who have offered up the most noble guidelines for living and there have been entire institutions organized around their teachings, which are given as instruction for everyone to follow. And while most will agree that these guidelines are noble, how many people actually live according to them? If you have a religion, for example, just look at Christianity, which accepts the commandments of Judaism. And one of those commandments is, you shall not kill. The commandment is very clear and simple to understand, and it offers no exceptions. And yet, how much killing has been done by this institution? So you have this religion which is founded on the life and teachings of someone whose central message was about love. And you have along with this this commandment not to kill, and yet millions upon millions of people have been killed by those who profess this religion. So even if these institutions are founded on the most noble principles, eventually they become corrupted. They become a perversion of what they were initially intended to be. So even if it's written in scripture that you must love one another and you shall not kill, People go around trying to force this religion on others through some kind of violence. Or just look at our secular society. In almost every place in the world, there is this same law that you must not kill others. But how effective is it? Just to have some law that says you must not kill others doesn't prevent people from killing. And I'm not saying that we should do away with such laws, I'm only saying that they aren't entirely effective. People are still killing one another every single day. What I'm saying is that you cannot impose peace upon the world. You cannot impose kindness and compassion. How would you even do that without some kind of violence? How would you force people to be peaceful? What would you do with those who refuse to obey? And even if somehow we managed to write some kind of legislation that everyone agreed on, or some kind of peace treaty, or whatever it happened to be, that somehow we managed to get everyone on the planet to stop harming one another. How long would this last? How long would we be able to maintain peace in all the world if it is merely something imposed from outside? Just to suggest that such a thing would be possible, even for a moment, is very difficult to imagine. 
So this has to arise from within, then it becomes manifest in the world. Otherwise, if a person is full of conflict, they may try to follow some guidelines, some rule or regulation, but it's not genuine, it's not authentic, it's not in alignment with what is actually going on within them. And eventually their internal conflict will manifest as greed or aggression or some other deviation. And even if you set up institutions, religious or secular, that are specifically designed to create and maintain peace in the world, those institutions will become corrupted because they are managed by people who have not resolved their own internal conflict. So the only way that there can be world peace is if everyone in the world is at peace with themselves individually and then together, as a collective, there can be harmony. But because we cannot impose peace upon others, the best that we can do, in fact, the only thing that we can do to create and encourage peace in the world, is to discover that peace within ourselves, to discover it and to embody it. And simply by awakening to that peace within, it's naturally going to influence every other aspect of our life what we do in the world, how we interact with others, and so on. And this also has some influence on those that we interact with. When we become the embodiment of peace and compassion, it can be very inspiring, you might even say contagious. Just by being at peace within oneself, others feel more at peace when they're in your presence. It's as if they get a little taste of it. And if they remain in that peace, even for just a little while, then it also influences their own behavior, their own interaction in the world. Because otherwise, if you're agitated, others can sense this as well, and they may feel uneasy. They also become agitated, anxious, on edge. So whatever is going on inside of you, others can sense it, and it has some influence on them, which in turn influences how they interact with the rest of the world. So you can see how even subtly our inward state affects the world around us, and that in order for there to be peace in the world outside, it has to begin within you. I also think that we have to be realistic. There may never be world peace, but even if there is, it will probably not be anytime soon. I certainly don't expect to see that in my lifetime. So I think it's important that we let go of this idea entirely, that we let go of the hope or the desire or whatever it is for the entire world to be peaceful. This is one of the things that is actually essential to being at peace within oneself, to accept the world as it currently is. And that includes accepting the fact that there is so much conflict. Because if you can't accept that, then this non-acceptance itself is conflict. If you can't accept the reality of what is, then you are in conflict with what is, and this creates agitation in the mind, which will manifest one way or another as some kind of external conflict. So we have to accept this. We have to accept that there is conflict in the world. We also have to accept the possibility that there might always be some kind of conflict in the world, and to be at peace with that. And this doesn't mean that you don't do anything. It doesn't mean that you just sit back and watch everything falling apart. But if you want to do something to create peace in the world to any extent, then whatever action you take has to be rooted in peace. It has to arise from that peace within you. Whatever we want to see manifest in the world, we have to embody that. We have to be a living embodiment of it. So if you want there to be peace in the world, first you have to discover that peace within yourself, and then naturally it will influence the world around you. If you find value in this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.